How's it going everyone and welcome back. We are here today way up above the clouds because we are going to be building a creeper farm above the creeper head that we built last episode. But before we get into that, we have a new Discord server. Uh, I mentioned it last video, but uh, it's probably a little bit in the middle of it somewhere, so maybe it got lost. Uh, the link to join that is down below. Feel free to pop by, say hi, hang around. Well, uh, yeah, just be a good little way to keep in touch with you guys. And you can post suggestions, uh, talk shit, post memes, whatever you want to do within reason. So yeah, hope to see you there. But now, it's time to get this build going. Uh, for this farm, I'm going to be following a tutorial from Waddles on YouTube. Waddles? I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm guessing it's just Waddles. Um, so yeah, I've got hopefully all the materials I need here. Uh, if not, I'll be sad because we're very high up and I don't want to have to keep going up and down this little scaffolding tube. But that is a problem, if it is a problem, for another time. So without further ado, let us get building. So we're going to get a little platform going here, um, made out of hoppers. So put these, this chest here like that, and then we'll... Can I not? Oh, okay, I'm not just standing in the way. So we'll connect all these hoppers going into each other like this. There we go. Now, some parts of this build are probably going to get a little bit tedious. So, if that happens, we'll just have to skip around a little bit. But most of the build I will be showing uh, in full, so never fear. Can we get rid of this actually? Oh boy. It is snowing now though. That should be okay. We don't need that anymore probably don't need this. And there we go. That should be everything we need to finish this build. Um, sleep it off real quick. Hopefully that'll stop the snow because it's going to get in the way of being able to see what we can, what we're doing. Thank you. Um, so we have the platform here where the creepers will land. Next thing we've got to do is build up 19 blocks. Bang, there we go. Okay, rest in peace. Rest in peace, and I'll hopefully be able to get you. Lovely. Okay. Um, actually, before we do go up, yeah, I'm going to grab... Hmm. Uh, put two of we'll put, uh, probably don't need you, probably don't need you right now. Well, we definitely don't need you. I'll put you back as well. Okay. Um, we'll fill up these two with water. Wonderful. And now we're good to go. Alright, so 19 blocks straight up. It's going to be real boring, so I'll see you in a second. And there we go. Alright, we are officially 19 blocks up. And we're getting real high, way above the clouds. Hopefully none of you guys are scared of heights, because if you are, you're in for a bad time. Okay, so the next step of this build is putting stairs all the way around like this. And then I believe it is going out two, two blocks from each of them. Like so. And then we just kind of connect them up, I think. I 
if we just fill in all the blocks like this. And then we leave that gap there free. So that corner doesn't connect to anything. Lovely. And last one. Wonderful. So I, I believe that this here is the bit where the creepers land and then get washed down into the bottom there. So the next bit that we need to do is so it's putting some blocks here in the corner Lake Sioux and then from there we are building five blocks up two three four and we'll do the last layer once it's uh, <laughs> safe uh, but, but again could get a little bit tedious so I'll once again see you in just a sec and there you have that nice and uh, roomy in here so next up what we need to do is put a couple of blocks over here fence 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 or fence gates I should say so this here stops all the water from running down get rid of these bad boys again and then we've got a somehow oh, okay, scaffolding. Put a bit of scaffolding in the corner here. Just so we can get up nice and easy. And then I believe we once again just build a couple of blocks out. Although I may be wrong. I think it's three actually. I think he says it's three by nine. So that's three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do a bit of that, like so. And then, once again, a little tedious bit of building as we go. way out to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoops. Seven, eight, nine. I think that's right. Looks a little bit strange. Well that's it's very embarrassing. Uh just checked my sources. We're meant to be going up one and then out two more. So we have indeed goofed here a little bit. That's our, uh, that's my bad for not checking the tutorial properly. So we'll have to do a quick little bit of a demolition here. And then we can fix that up. So we're back in the daytime. Turns out it wasn't actually that many blocks I had to uh, get rid of. And we can now, actually while we're here, might as well move on to the next part down here which is water sources in all the corners oh he did warn us uh, this would be a problem it's very easy to get swept away now but luckily we have this scaffolding oh land on it thank you so we sort of go up and down here a little bit ouch not like that um Probably actually not a bad idea either to we'll put a couple of trap doors here actually. We can still squeeze in there, right? Yes. So now if we just pop a bit of water in there, we can just jump down without any fear of getting hurt. Excellent. So now a bit of tedious up and down here while we fill in with water. 
But you know what's not tedious? Subscribing to the Big Tasty Danish channel so you can see more content just like this as this world that we are currently in keeps getting expanded with more and more cool builds and fancy machinery like this. Okay, this is going to be a problem, apparently. The ice is, uh, is freezing, I should say. Is there any way we can stop that from happening? Hmm. Did not really think that through. But hopefully we can... Maybe once it's enclosed, it won't. It won't freeze. Anyway, I got distracted in the middle of my subscribe speech. You should totally subscribe. <laughs> That's the end of the speech. Okay. Um, there should be a water pot that goes... Uh, water placement here as well but that's what the scaffolding is at the moment so we'll do that one at the very end right so now to do it properly okay I didn't think that we were in an ice biome maybe it's because we're so high up who knows anyway go up a block and then out two that's how it's meant to be and then we go two, three, three, four. Yep, then we go nine along here. So that's my bad for not following the tutorial properly. But hey, you live and you learn. So this is a matter of doing this on all sides here. Nice and simple. Just like this. Yeah. I really hope that this ice stops happening. Because if it turns out that I build this farm in a place that doesn't work. I'm going to be very sad. But it would also be classic me move. Oh, forgot to add the last bit over here. Yeah. Last side now, almost done. And then I think that is the most uh, tedious parts over, potentially. Could be very wrong though. Right. So the final bit we do is just connect all these little bits in here. Wonderful. And before I forget, we'll add one more to the scaffolding there so we can actually get up and down properly. And then we want to go in like this until we're right in the middle, which is here I believe. Get rid of these two blocks and this one. Build a bit of this. <coughs> and there we go. Bang, bang, get rid of you. And then put that there, put a fence edge around it. I'm gonna test my parkour skills here a little bit. Yeah. Lovely. Break that. Now we get to build a little friend. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hey. Welcome, buddy. To the party. So now. Golems here uh, are gonna get aggro. They're gonna aggro the creepers, shoot them, and then kind of bait them into coming over here and falling down into the trap below. So to help with that, we're gonna do 
this. Put some trapdoors down and a button to stop them from spawning in there. Trapdoor and a trapdoor. Bada bing, bada boom. Lovely stuff. There we go. Alright. That should be good for that part in there. Now, let me just go against one more, hopefully last time, to just check my sources and how exactly this uh, this last little bit works with setting up the walls. Right, so, whoops. Fat fingered the R key by accident. Next step, more walls around this whole farm. So I'm going to just do this the whole way around. Just like this. Uh, enjoy the view while we're here because it is a lovely view. See so many nice things like the village, the house, it's just lovely up here. Despite how cold it is, and it keeps freezing my goddamn water blocks. Oh, I definitely have to try and get that sorted out because I do not want this to all be in vain. Well, even if I do end up having to move the farm somewhere else, at least you'll have seen one video of me building it, so you'll know the process, and you can uh, just imagine the rest of it. Coolios. So, I believe the next step is to... More scaffolding, please. Next step is we got to go... one here and then just fill in the roof here above this all the way around nope not there give me back basically just anywhere that this floor we put a roof above it So, I really hope that I have enough blocks. I do not want to have to go get more. It's not looking good though. Well, maybe it is. Might be okay. Or I might be a filthy, filthy liar. Okay, well, all the water's frozen down here now, that's not ideal, but hopefully, once this is all uh, closed up above and everything, this should hopefully unfreeze. Yeah, let me out. Yeah, okay. So the reason I popped down here is because it's getting night time. and quickly sort out some of this business here. Um, don't need you. We'll need you. 47 blocks should be enough. I really hope it is. Um, need you still. Don't need you anymore. You keep you just in case. Don't need you. And there we go. Organized our inventory just a little bit. Okay. This should be the last little push. And then the farm will be done. If it fixes itself. <laughs> So what we've got to do now is the most expensive part of this build, which is putting trapdoors along here. Before we... Oh no, should be fine. No. Got to cover this entire roof bit here with trapdoors. Because in case you didn't know, creepers are actually shorter 
than every other mob. So zombies and skeletons and stuff, and especially endermen, won't be able to spawn in here because the ceiling is too low. Unfortunately, that also means that spiders can spawn, but we luckily have a way to prevent that from happening as well, which will be putting down some strategically placed carpet here and there, and then that stops the spiders from spawning because I don't think that you can sp uh, mobs can spawn on carpet, and spiders need a couple of blocks free around to spawn otherwise it's no bueno so we're gonna go like this in that pattern and then yeah creepers will spawn on all of these blocks can't spawn on here and then we just repeat the same process on each side and we're getting very close to being done last one bang 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 and bang very nice. So next up, no, no. Next up, we gotta go up here, and then we're going to build a little roof on this bad boy, just like this. And wouldn't you know it, we are going to be a couple of blocks short. God dang it. Well, I guess I could use dirt. I do have plenty of dirt. And it'll do the trick just as well. So, you know what, for now we'll do dirt, I will replace it at some stage, I promise, but for now it will have to do. Okay, does that hurt a little bit? Yep, thought so. Okay, before we go, let's take out what we can in here. Um, place the last water thing as well. If we fall down, we're safe, right? Yes. So let's place, break, 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 break. Please stay unfrozen. I would really appreciate that if you did. Jump down here. We break that, break that. We'll leave you for now. Alrighty. Let's just head up here, so we can place the last, oops, never mind, we need to come out to here, I think. Yep, that should be good. Okay, so now we can climb up and place the last dirt block. And then creepers should start spawning, and we can start farming us some delicious gunpowder, and then fly forever with our elytra. Please tell me you guys aren't freezing. I see ice. No, I don't. I lied. Cool. Looks like it's doing okay. Close her up. Climb back down. And then once we lock it up down here, it's very satisfying. Wow. Never thought scaffolding could be so satisfying. Um... For you take you don't need you and oh that is good to see that they are it's actually working already it did scare me a little bit but that's all right place this down here so that we're nice and safe and they can't see us and then we just start hitting them and we're already getting some delicious gunpowder. Cool. Good to see that it works. Very, very nice. Um, 
Okay, we'll quickly fill in this bad boy. Don't really need this water anymore. So I'll break you down. Fill you back in. Oh, oh there's one thing I forgot to do up there. Whoops. Need to place some torches up there so that mobs don't spawn up on the top. That'd be very unfortunate. It also takes away from forcing the creepers to spawn inside the farm. No. Why can't I build up? I was wondering what that sound was, but it's a... Uh, it's the golem aggroing the creepers and making them run at him towards... Whoa, okay. This is turning out to be a very effective farm. Holy crap. Come here. Okay, I can't reach you right now, but that's fine. I may have to extend the platform to insert... Oh, no, here he comes. He had a death wish, apparently. So this sword does not have looting. I need to get me a looting sword. I think I left one back at the other base. So yeah, hitting them with a looting three sword is going to drop hella gunpowder. That's just what we need. Okay, we're back up here. We're going to place a torch right there, right there, right there, and right there, and one here for good luck. And that should keep any nasties we don't want spawning from spawning. Can still hear the water. That's reassuring that it's actually working. And we'll slap you again. Get a satisfying collapse of scaffolding. Oh, so nice. And now if we stand here, things should spawn and fall down. Unless, of course, something has gone terribly wrong. Don't really hear any water. But it's dripping. So it must be working. That's alright. I shall investigate some more at a later date. But, for now, um, I'm going to put my fence back so I'm safe over there. Wait, no, that was actually, that was my... This is my launch platform. So what we will do actually is place that there. Oh, well, okay, it is still working. That's good. I'm not crazy. All right, got my Lytra on. Oh, it's been mending. Oh, okay, cool. Makes sense. Okay, so we'll break the bed. Okay, you guys are going to have to stop spawning because I want to leave, but you're making me want to stay here and collect... Collect the gunpowder. It's already doing so well. Alright. I could be here all day. Well, there you have it. That's the farm done. So as we float back down... Look up and admire our handiwork. It looks pretty fancy. Nice and tucked away, just floating in the sky. Very realistic physics. Um, I do at some point want to change the scaffolding so it's not scaffolding. Um, I might do like just a really big old long bubble elevator kind of thing to get me up even quicker because scaffolding is a little bit slow and a bit of a pain in the ass. But I might just do that off camera because it's a little bit boring. But yeah, that is it for today's episode, I think. 
very successful. We've got the creeper farm chugging along nicely up there. So I can just pop by and farm me some gunpowder whenever I like. And on that note, I think it's time to go to bed. Once I put it back down. So yeah, that's it from me for today. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Leave a comment down below as well. I read them all, try to respond to them all in some fun way. And join the Discord server. Link will be in the description. And I uh, hope to see you there. But for now, I'll catch you guys in the next episode.